everybody welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another budget update video so it is my goal for the month of November to bring you a video every single week to update you on our budget situation so I will be sharing with you what the kids and I have done for this week as far as expenses are concerned which is the first actual week of November so this starts November the 4th and goes through November the 10th last week which was the last week of October or the fifth week of October going into the first three days of November the kids and I just used the week five sheet and so or she uh, this week five tab and so now we're going back to week one and we're going to be using that tab but let me share with you the personal budget so I was budgeting for four thousand two hundred fifteen dollars and eighteen cents and I got that amount that was my pay then I got a kids deposit at four thirty two ninety two and my daughter sent me a hundred dollars for groceries so my total budget is four thousand seven hundred and forty eight dollars and ten cents that I need to budget out and remember I'm doing the Dave Ramsey zero base budget plan so let me share with you the things that went out for this week so I paid all of my living expenses last week because I like to pay before the fifth of the month so I try to pay either the last working day of the month when I get paid or the first working day of the next month so no living expenses went out this past week scrolling down to my regular payments these are things that normally come out of my check or out of my checking account I have my health wage gym which is $25 and that came out on Wednesday and then I have my pure flicks which is the Christian version of Netflix that came out on Thursday so $25 for health ways the new price is $29 a month I was grandfathered in they had a raise I think it was about two years ago I've been doing the program for quite a long while if you have any questions about health ways Jim just leave me a comment below if you have Blue Cross and Blue Shield uh, for your health insurance you could potentially qualify and I'd be happy to walk you through those steps um, so for a total of $32.99 is what I had as far as regular payments are concerned moving down for food expenses now here is where I had a little bit of overage from last week's grocery budget when I went on Wednesday I took cash but I didn't take quite enough to cover the Dollar Tree purchase that I had to get for the small group things and then just a few things I needed at Aldi So for groceries, I spent eighteen dollars and eight cents that was not allocated in my normal grocery budget Other than that no expenses on food Personal care. So last Sunday I actually went and we did the Goodwill and so Alana got a couple of things from the Goodwill mom did as well you should have already seen that Goodwill video go up and so I did have some ready cash on hand but I did not have as much as I needed so I spent $15 I had a $40 Goodwill budget but I also was gifted $50 so we use that money $15 in addition and then I still have $25 for Goodwill money the next thing I did was I have a doctor's bill that I'm paying I had an MRI done at the beginning of the year and it was $1,200 was my out-of-pocket expense I have paid that bill down to $370 I made a hundred dollar payment which is my scheduled payment last week I have on a payment plan for $100 but this week I actually made an additional payment of hundred and fifty dollars so total for my doctor's bill I've paid two hundred and fifty dollars this month leaving me a balance of three hundred I mean of two hundred and twenty dollars and I hope to have that paid off this week the next thing I have is a miscellaneous house expense I cannot remember for the life of me what I bought but it was something that I needed in the house So I put this in as blow money. It is really not blow money, but I did not have a category for it. I have to pay national dues. And this year they allowed us to break those dues payments up into monthly payments or four months to pay it. And so my dues are like $180. And I chose to pay that over the four month period. So my, 
this is my last month's payment, $35, and that came out last week. I actually forgot about it. Did It didn't even cross my mind because I thought I had already paid, but I'm going to go back and check to make sure that they didn't just debit my card or you know pull it out of my checking account and it was a mistake on their part. I think this is my last, this should be my last payment, but I didn't have anywhere else for it to go, so I just put it in the blow money category. So that gives me a total expenses this week of three, oh, there was one other thing that I did not put in and I meant to do it. It was under miscellaneous kids. It's really not for the kids, it's for mom. But um, they had a tournament today, Taekwondo tournament, and there was an $8 um, admission fee for all spectators. So I did have to pay for that today. So that takes care of all of my weekly expenses, which gives me $351.16 for this week. So let me take you back to the budget sheet and we'll just run through it real quick. So I am allocating for $478.10 and so far this month, I have paid my mortgage at $909.95. My utilities at $105.54, water at $4309. I have not paid my cell phone bill because I'm trying to put it on the next week, which starts tomorrow. So I will probably pay that tomorrow because it is due on the 11th, which is tomorrow. My internet was uh, $78.94, that is paid. My homeowners association, I finished out my yearly dues at $135. I have not paid my student loan, but I do plan to pay that this coming week. It is not due until the 26th of November, but I do plan to pay that. Amazon Prime is $13.99. That should have come out. I don't know why it's not showing that it came out, but that should have come out. I'll have to figure out when that came out of my check, my checking account, but it already did. I must have just forgot to log it. Um, 3812 there's a problem. See, here's a problem. This should only say $25. So I've put some money somewhere that it should not be there. So let me go back into week five and see what I budgeted in for my health ways. Something is wrong. Oh, there it is. See here where that says Wednesday. That should actually be Amazon Prime. I knew something was wrong. So I'm going to change that. And then I'm going to take that out. I just got it in the wrong category. So that's my bad. Apologies. Now that has updated for me. I budgeted in $13.99 and it was actually $13.12. Now that makes my health wage gym come comes out correctly. My Pure Flix at $7.99, Health Wage Gym at $25, Taekwondo was $3.25, CCRDU was $50, Groceries was $3.18.08, I'd only budgeted $200, but my daughter sent me an extra $100, and then the $18 that I spent um, for the small group and just a few things at Aldi. Personal Care was $15, that was for Alana's clothing and my Goodwill Doctor's visit, I paid $250. I only budgeted in $100. Miscellaneous kids was $8. YouTube for my um, external hard drive was $169.05. Travel and recreation is $25. And I have $65. And I don't know why that is. So let me go back and see why that is. All right. So somewhere I have budgeted some monies that should not be there. Oh, I know what that is. Apologies. I do know what that is. So, dad sent kids money. And normally, one time a year, I take the kids to a um, fun, fun retreat. It's like a resort thing. It's a water park. And when you go in the off season, you can get a room for $49 a night. It's in Myrtle Beach. And so, I paid for the kids to go to that particular activity and so that's where that was $49.99 plus tax and charges and all that it ended up being $65 it's for one night so that is where that money came from now the $25 that I have allocated here is not counted in this this was for traveling to my mom's for Thanksgiving so I actually had that for gas or any foods I need to get for her house um, and so that's why that $25 is there. So this money was not originally budgeted, but when Kids Deposit came in, I actually decided to give them that one night. I did $60 cash for Gracie, and then of course I bought the heater, 
for $32 or $29.99 and uh, with tax it was $32.08. Gas so far is at $60.01. And then my tithe, $7.30. Damon Thompson Ministries in Miss Molly, we've done $30 there. I transferred $700 into my emergency fund, uh, or my savings account, so that I would have Christmas money. I actually probably need to put that in a separate account, but it's in my emergency, it's in my $1,000 emergency fund account, which my $1,000 emergency fund, baby step number one, is complete. I'm working on baby step number two, which is to do my debt snowball. So the only debts I currently have are my um, MRI, which I will be done paying that off this week. I owe $220.34. I'll be done with that this week. And then um, my student loan, which I will begin to continue to chunk that as the next couple of months go by. And then $50, I did send off that gift to a friend. And then of course the $35 that I had for, oh, for my dues. That's what that was. So, so far, I have spent $4,216.41 and I have a running balance of $531.69. I, mean I still have yet to pay my student loan, which is $156, and my cell phone, which is $220, which that would put me at $376, so that'll leave a little bit left in my checking account which will be the other $40 that I need, I mean the other $25 for here, $25 for my travel, $60 more dollars for gas, and then that should round me out for the month. Now let me share with you something else. So I know that I'm getting a deposit from travel. I did two trips in October and those payments have not come in so I did check my employee portal and I'm getting travel reimbursements at 404 so you're gonna see that number here 404 which is not a normal payment for me but that's gonna help me be able to go ahead and pay off that rest of that MRI I'm gonna pay my tithe and pay off the MRI and then whatever is left of that I'm going to put an addition onto my student loan. So I'm still doing baby step number two, trying to debt snowball, and my student loan is less than 6,500. I don't have the exact numbers, but I will bring you an update on that when I pay that bill. So there it is, you guys. Everything that I have budgeted so far this month of my $4,748.10, we still have $531 and 69 cents to complete our zero base budget. We are trucking right along. We are going to be done with my MRI doctor bill this week, and then we're right back at that um, debt snowballing my student loan. So there it is. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. If you have any questions about our budget, please feel free to leave us a comment down below. We'd be happy to answer any questions that we are able to answer. Um, we do want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. We hope your financial journey is coming right along. Let us know where you are. Let us know how much you've paid off this year. We could have done so much better, but we ran into a few um, issues with our car this year and just a few unexpected things, but God is still good and faithful, and he is still working it out for our good. I did get a call from Dad the other day, and he said he did make a deposit Um for some additional monies for the kids. So that's just gonna be great and lovely and help us to get to our goals very much quicker. So thank you again so much for stopping by our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye now.